Hello again. What are we up to this time? Uh, we've just snuck up here for another few days. I'm going to try and connect my workshop to the net. Now, back at the house, which is 400 meters away through trees, we have Starlink, which is wonderful, by the way. But I can't get a signal through the trees. And we have another neighbor kind of in that direction to the south also has Starlink and they've very kindly said that I can connect to them if I can get a signal but I can't and they're only about 100 meters away and there's like three trees so it's worth a try so I've got one of these left over from a, another project which is a high power Wi-Fi thing and I've got one of these which is half an antenna <laughs> um, the wind blew it off and it broke so what I'm going to try and do is make another one out of, um, I don't know, probably cardboard and tin foil to see if it will work. So this is a 24 dB parabolic antenna. And I think this access point, it will run up to 29 dBm. So between the two of them, I end up with a very naughty um, transmit power. <laughs> but you know, if it can get through the trees to the house and there's nothing else around it for miles then um that'll be great we'll give that a try take some of the broken bits off this is just aluminium it's all corroded up but yeah i have hopes it's kind of working This is going to be kind of fun to make because it's a well, it's a parabolic antenna, so you know it's the shape of a parabola. But this one's actually a, a complex curve, so it curves in this direction and it curves in that direction. Let's just see how that goes. Oh, it's coming off. I did actually try this antenna uh, last time we were up. I could only get like 8 dB of signal, which is not enough to be useful. So with luck, making the other half of the antenna, well, you know, we're going to be in the ball game. Aluminium and steel. Not very good friends. It's rot. Looks like the antenna's also broken here. Oh well. We'll just try it. Works great. It doesn't, well it doesn't owe me anything anyway. This will do. Cardboard box from old water heater. So, a little bit of cardboard aided design. Make that into this shape. Just cutting it out to the rough shape. We've got to bend it. Okay, so far we've got the curve in this at the middle. Just tie wrapped it on. I've got to cut some relief curves so I can get the other curve in it. I've no idea if this is going to work. Let me just try it. Just follow the grid lines on this, I think. Nice old workshop. Ah, Rosie wouldn't let me do this on the kitchen table. Oh, I would be in so much trouble.
Right, duct tape should sort the rest of that. Find the end of it. go. Curved in two dimensions. Mm, put another cut in here. shape so now I've got to stiffen it a bit because you know if I just unclip it from the antenna it'll just flop about so, some bits of cardboard across the back to follow the curves this will be fun <laughs> Wonderful stuff, duct tape. Civilization would crumble without it. Should be enough for it to hold its shape. Let's find out. You know, it strikes me that having done this on cardboard, and it's not that hard, it's what, eight cuts on a sheet and a bit of bending. Probably do it in a piece of alley and then, um, I don't know, pop rivet it or something. Because obviously, cardboard isn't going to work outside for very long. This is just a proof of concept to see if there's enough signal coming in. I did actually order a new one of these for a company called Chili Tech in Valparaiso. No, I sent them my order, sent them the money, and that was a week ago, and nothing. Now, it's a shame. It's just a little company. And I like dealing with the little companies, you know, because, you know, they're up against a lot of competition, and, you know, help the little guy. But when the little guy fucks you, you question these things. All right, so... Put another one of those on the on each edge, I think. No. Yeah, why not? There we go, bit of structure on the back. A bit more duct tape. Well, I guess this is the moment of truth. Does it actually hold its shape? Let's have these zip ties off and find out. Okay, half an antenna, put it together. We'll have a whole one. One last thing to do, obviously to fix the two together. Um, cardboard ain't gonna work, the radio, we've got to cover it with aluminium foil. So. Oh, to raid the kitchen and find some double sided sticky tape. Oh, I've got 
place for that. Now for a 20 minute bodge. I think it works out pretty good. I'll at least be able to know if this setup will work in terms of getting a signal. Uh, you know, if it doesn't, it doesn't, I'll find another way of doing it. It'd be nice to have an internet connection here. There we go, one antenna. <laughs> kind of. Well, what's left of one, anyway? <laughs> And it works. You got the finished thing. I covered it with tin foil and just stuck it on just to follow the shape. And it gets just enough signal to get one megabit, which is like the lowest data rate for Wi Fi. But this is indoors, it's going through a wall, it's going through four trees and a house to get before it gets to the wi-fi point and it's doing what 160 meters something like that so yeah it's good so now i've got the choice of well i can either go buy a complete antenna and just replace it with a new one because i know it'll work or maybe i'll just get a sheet of aluminium and um do what i did with the cardboard but with the right material and build my own reflector but yeah, I have internet in my wife in my workshop.